Hello, I'm Sally from Much Loved. And um, in this session, I'm just going to talk you through your event report. So you access that from the reports tab in your partner area and just scroll down and click on event report. So the important thing to remember about your event report is it collects information about any um, event about people that have set up events within your tribute pages. So they may not be the fund holder, they may be a friend or a family member. So it's important to um, have a look at these reports. So um, with the same as any of the other reports that we've looked at, you've got a date range. So you can pop your cursor in there and create your own date range or use the calendar symbol on this section here. And then you've also got various shortcuts um, down there here as well. So we could select um, events that have been set up the last month. Um, on the next section, you can hide any events that haven't got any donations attached to them and also maybe events that um, have been closed. So that just tidies up your reports a little bit. And then underneath here, you can see the screen view. We can see the date that it was created. We can see the name of the event. And actually that's a link through so we can actually have a look at the event on the tribute page. We can see who it was created by and we can see that that person who's created the event have opted into the GDPR marketing ask that's uploaded on the system. And then we can see which tribute that that is connected to. And again, there's a, a link through so we can actually have a look at the actual tribute page. Um, and actually there's a link through on this section as well to be able to, a shortcut link to be able to view the tribute review for that particular tribute. Then we can see the number of donations that have been made and the amount that's been collected. So underneath that are the same with all the others, we've got the export options. So um, we can download further details about the event. So each event will be given its own unique ID. So you can download that um, title, the date it's created and the time. And then you've got these customized references which haven't been customized on this section but you can also download that. And you can also download the event source so you can see um, who created it. So whether it was um, the fund holder or whether it was a friend or a family relative. Um, next, you've got the tribute details because obviously each event is actually connected to a tribute. They can't be set up independently. So there will always be that connection. So you can download some of the tribute details so the tribute URL and then all of those customized references that you may have set up and also the tribute ID. Um, and then most importantly, you can download the creator details. So remember I said that the person setting up the tribute might not necessarily be the fund holder. So this may be a different supporter. So make sure you do tick some of these sections to make sure that you can download their address, postcode um, and their telephone number. And just to be aware that we'll only collect that information if you are an optimum partner. So if you're looking at this as an advantage partner, we'll only collect the first name, family name and email address. And then you've got their GDPR marketing ask because they will be presented with your bespoke ask, your bespoke question. So if you want to download their response and we can see on this section up here that um, Catherine responded to the GDPR, so she signed up to this. So we know that there's some data to download. So make sure you do click all those sections before you then scroll to the bottom and click on the green CSV button to download the full report.